wall, what y'all do, all that good stuff. Cool. Let me start. Let me start. Uh, Mr. Mahard, aka VSOP, uh, co CEO, Money Committee, artist. Uh, Wild Three, Money Committee, artist. Oh, nice. <laughs> <Go see. laughs> All right. Um, what led both of you into doing music? It really started from there. So you want to start? Yeah, you want to start? Um. Uh, well, I started uh, probably like middle school. Uh, with me, it was more like I seen it as like a therapy and kind of sense. I just I was going through a lot of wild stuff, like whether it's family stuff, just seeing stuff out in the streets and stuff. So me growing up, it was more like when I was going through things, kind of side note too, with me, my family, my immediate family, we're the first ones in Baltimore. All my family lives elsewhere, New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, South Carolina. So it was like when I was going through stuff, I didn't necessarily have a fam, uh, family members or good select people, friends and stuff like that that I could go to and talk to. So it was like, with me, it was more like I was writing, doing doing music and stuff just as therapy, just to get stuff off my brain, you know, just to stay sane out here as a as a young man in these Baltimore streets. But <laughs> um but yeah, it was just more so like therapy at first. And then after a while, just hearing people say that they can do music and to me, in my opinion, it was trash. I was like, I know I can do these same beats and these songs differently, more creatively, better in a sense. It just kind of just kept me going. So the therapy and just keeping my creative juices flowing in my brain. Now we're here. Um, he, used to, he used to always go to the studio, and I used to go with him. And I used to just be sitting there and just watching him. So it'd just be a couple of times he'd be like, hey, you want to try it? So he'd start me off with some ad libs. Then he'd hear me like a couple of weeks and go back. Then he'd be like, try a verse. And after that, we go back to another couple of weeks, then try both uh, the hook, the verse, and everything. So basically, really came from there. Okay. How did you two meet? Actually, it was cool with his older brother. Yeah. Uh, older brother first. Um, in my younger years, I grew up more so around him. Uh, and then naturally, of course, as people got older, he started getting his select friends when he's going out, sports, on his own street thing, whatever it is. Naturally, he was, he's the little brother to everybody. So it was like, once I start hearing him show an interest in music, I was already going to studios, if not every week, every other week. So it was like, you know what? Since you at least just want to hear and see how it goes, you know, because there's much more to it than just writing on paper. You know what I mean? So I was like, all right, well, you can come with me. So that's like how you just said. It was like, at first, it just came through. It was like, oh, all right. The person was like, that was dope. That was dope. And after a couple oh. sessions, it was like, man, let's see them ad libs. You know what I mean? So... Uh, just naturally, you know, just his interest and in just seeing how I was operating with the music. Um, but I was cool as older brother first. But oh. it was like a whole like it be like a whole group of us like hanging with each other. He's basically trying to basically keep me out of the mix and be like, you know what? Instead of you running the streets with everybody, come hang in the studio for a while. What was the first song you got there together? Do y'all remember what that is? What ad libs or like uh, whatever? So whatever. Uh, it was uh, money for me. Yeah, money for me. Money for me. That was the first verse. Yeah. As far as ad libs, whatever on everything I love. Yeah. That song. Uh, yeah, that was the first ad lib. His first verse. Verse was money for money me. Money for me. How you feel about like writing the first verse? Like, uh, like anxiety, like yo, this is my big brother. I'm gonna have to write a verse for this song. <laughs> no, I just went in there and just. Just been myself. So you you seem like real quiet and a little laid back. <laughs> How do you get in that like that mindset to be like writing? Because like when you, when you when you rap, you know you write and you, you potentially you might perform it somewhere. So like, Correct. how do you? Well, you are performing to like the people in the studio pretty right. much. So how do you like get in that mindset? Like, All right, step by step. Uh, I think. They gotta be the vibe of the studio sometimes. So uh, I like feed off of them. So, and sometimes like, the Hennessy is in. The Hennessy <laughs> get me going too. But mainly like the vibe get me up. And he act me up too. So, I be having to pull up, pull yeah. out that energy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he you know what I mean? Like, 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 get a little um, up and me up. Good, like, yeah. I mean, just because like, 
me like I I write for no reason. Like there's a lot of songs I have that I haven't recorded, so I kind of know the ins and outs in a sense of like, you know, when it comes to just the writing and recording. So with him, it's like I can kind of feel out and see like where he may not be confident in certain areas or uh, he knew he killed the first six bars, but he's trying to end it. It ain't coming too well. You know what I mean? Like it ain't flowing too well. I know how to ask certain questions and be like, hey, yo, no, nah, look, yo, think about this. Like, you know, just to bring it out. Then, of course, once we get to the studio, after him practicing so you know what I mean so many times by the time we get to a studio usually even though I've been writing the longest he most of the time he's doing his in one or two takes just because with him it's just like he already kind of know like once he get that energy and get in his mind like all right this I know how to do this he going in one two takes you know what I mean but you know yeah I definitely you know just having conversations knowing how to you know figure out the ends and outs where to bring off that that deep down that part was like, all right, you know, when you rap this, it got to sound more aggressive on these parts. And sometimes it got to be like, all right, take a breath at this part. You're saying too many words right here. You know what I mean? Like, I know how to bring that up. And vice versa, too. Like, you know, he, yeah, he oh said yeah. the same thing with me, too. Especially um, when I be feeling like the energy ain't there. Right. I tell him, like, no, go back. We right. might leave him for, we do this over. Right, right, right. Oh, that's good that y'all had that, that relationship because some people don't. Some people can't do that with their friends, though. Like, ooh, people that they're close to. Like, you right. can't take the, uh, the Yes, man. Just let it, just let it ride yeah. out. Nah, nah. That's so hard. Dude. At the end of the day, yeah. even though if he say yes, it's still thousands, hundreds, millions of people that can possibly hear the song. So I'd rather him tell me the hard truth right now. Oh, we fix this, whatever it is with this song right now. That way, by the time it gets, you know, displayed to the world, it shouldn't be an issue. It should I be do Y'all say it takes the longest to complete a project. So was it like an album or EP? Uh, what can I say? As far as writing, it would like be a whole project. Like a whole like project. Like putting it together. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't have any whole projects yet. Yeah. So I just got right, so what about a song? So he's a better writer. I, to me, I think I'm a good beat picker. Okay. When it's time to pick the beats out, I'm like this. Well, he can rap something right now. I can go pick the beat out. I'll be like, boom, let's go. But, but he's a quick writer. Just because I've been writing for so long. Yeah. So it's like, they're just giving like my history, how I grew up, different schools, living in and out of states. You know, it's like my mind just wanders all the time. You know what I mean? So like I can kind of think of some crazy stuff and he'd be sitting there like, like, where the hell did you think of that? You know what I mean? Yeah. With him, it's more like once I get him in that mode, like, yo, this is this beat is hard, ain't it? Oh, yo, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Once he's up and got that energy, then he can just write his whole damn verse right there. Like, it's like, it click. But once he get the laying back, and if he ain't feeling it, I can kind of <laughs> tell, you know what I yeah. mean? So, I can say, like, if it comes to like writing a verse, it just kind of depends on the actual beat at hand. But he definitely, yeah, he's. It's kind of almost equal, but like with me, it's just like how like our brains work. It's, it's in two different modes. It's like whatever well, he missed out on, I pick up. Right. right. Whatever well, um, I miss out on, he picks up. So it's not like necessarily one person takes longer than the other. Yeah. Uh, so it's like just like when y'all both come together, you can do right. it. Right. I like it better though, because he got like the older crowd, and I got the younger, so it just brings right. me together. Yeah, definitely merging the markets. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. Target audience. Right. What do y'all think uh, an artist? nowadays need to do to like promote themselves because like more artists are like being independent don't need a label necessarily and like they're making it like they are bigger than some people who are on a label so what do you think are like those things most of all be yourself a lot of people they can portray on something they see like on youtube or on the movies and don't be yourself that's most of all and you get exposed once you get put on the spot, so that's what I say, just be yourself. And one of the biggest things I can say to you that he always say when you come to like the promoting and marketing visuals, like people actually seeing you. Oh, yeah. uh, he's been saying that even kind of even before he even made his first song, like, yo, people need to see y'all. Like, people need to see us. Yeah, like, awesome. you know, you, you can write all the songs in the world. You can have all these EPs and projects in the world, but if ain't nobody at least can go on a YouTube to see the behind the scenes or day in the life or whatever it is, it's like, it's kind of pointless, you know what I mean? So, uh, 
you know, yes, making the songs, making sure your songs are mixed, mastered, everything is flowing right. Yes, that's a, a big part, kind of the initial step of it all, but the visuals, he's been saying that since day oh. one. Like, all right, look, yeah, we got this nice song, but like, I'm trying to shoot this video <laughs> right here. Like, all right, cause watch. And then, of course, you know, when we releasing videos and stuff, just releasing a song and then releasing a video to that song is totally two different. It's like, all right, these couple hundred, whatever people, thousand people, whatever, look at the song, all right, it's nice. That video is like every single person on his Facebook, Instagram, whatever it's it is. Like, oh, I seen the video. Oh, I was like, my homeboy seen it. It's like random people that you wouldn't even expect just because of the visual. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so um, did you have like the hand in like creating the, like, the look for the video? So like, when you like, all right, well, we need to put a visual to this song because uh, the song hot. So like, somebody needs to see it to merge those two together. Are you like talking to the director like, all right, I want to shot like this, 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 and this, letting the director? Uh, no, he wasn't talking to the first. I, I wasn't looking back first. <laughs> I mean, but honestly, we should get director credits. You know what I mean? Like, because I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the, and there's no like shade to the, like the videographers we work with, but a lot of times the videographers we work with. They always ask us like, what, oh, what we want to do, wanna do yeah. and how we want the I mean, video it's to look. To have your input. It is. Just it so is. We don't, we don't take the like right, 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 right. You know what I mean? It is. It's, 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 yeah. it's definitely appreciated. Right, right. We Executive should get out the record. We should get out the record <laughs> first. You know, but, um, <laughs> no, but usually, yeah, like definitely, I'll probably say once the song is kind of completed, like we already know, like how the verses go, hooks and. Who's gonna record it? Usually, by the time the song is recorded, we already kind of got some type of plan as to what the visual is gonna look like. So, um, I mean, because we do all different types of song, it ain't just like all trap all shit. Track, all, you know what I mean? So it can be like, even though we haven't shot visuals to all of it, we have songs in the stash that's like these R and B songs. And okay, this song is about love. This song is about the girl doing us wrong. I mean, we have all these songs that we're shooting visuals currently for. Um, so we're going to be seeing a lot of press. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with those, it's like, so then we, that's when we can really show people the creative outside of the music. Like, all right, oh, dang, this was a dope video to go along with the dope song that, you know, that he had. You know, so you all um, own, like, a music brand, right? Right. So do you, do you all have artists or are you all just the artists? We did. Yeah. At one point. Uh, it was a, a collective uh, of individuals, but I mean, just like how it is, just you know, as you get older and uh, people start experiencing stuff on it. I mean, I'm always taking the mature route of it. He always got the man f that, you know what I mean. But it's the, it's just more like you know, if people get older, they want to experience things, they want to start their own brand and stuff, of course. And then uh, some people just have like that leader mentality. So it's like, yeah, I have a leader mentality. A lot of times you might bump heads with somebody who feels like, no, nah, they should be the one in charge and things right. of that nature. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't knock it. I don't, I just take it as lessons learned. But of course, you know, when they go and do their own things. Of course, once they see it's not as easy as it is trying to do it on your own mm -hmm. than when you with a, a group of people. But as of now, yes, it's just me it's and him. Too, yeah. We have like different, as far as artists, it's just me and him. Like we have like set producers and uh, videographers and stuff that we work with that we can say that's part of our process. Uh, but as far as artists, yeah, as of now, it's just me and him. But even the people we was working with, we still cool with them to this day. Right. Yeah. And there's no bad blood. blood. Yeah. Yeah, there's no bad blood. We still talk to them to this day. So. Did y'all think it was more beneficial? So if that was to work out that y'all were still together as a collective, do you think it's more beneficial for artists to form a collective versus like just doing their own thing and like trying to find their own way? Sure. So if you like, stayed as a group, would it be like be easier, smoother? Mm -hmm. Oh my! Um, because he did make a point when he said that like, you can't do it by yourself. Yeah, you can't. You need a team with you behind you, but. Too many moves swings. Too many, like you said, I want to be the leader. It, like, man, well, well, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of nitpicking. So it's like, and this is just from the people that we, yeah. you know what I mean, did business with. Even not even necessarily just like rappers. Like, even like when it comes to like a lot of like producers and stuff, it's like, like you said, the mood swings. It's the like mood swings is some weird. people feel like they should have more say so, but then it's like a lot of the times, 
not to brag or boast, but most of the time, me and him are the ones chunking up most of the money. So it's like, yeah. if we're pretty much chunking up the money and we are coming up with the concepts for the song, we're finding the beats and we doing all this, uh-huh. yes, I still want your input, uh-huh. but it's yeah. kind of like you got to weigh the scale. Or if it's not like, you know, if this time around you don't get enough, just say input in it. In my mind, I'm like, all right, well, let me work and think of some more stuff so I can have more input the next go around. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't have that type of mentality. A lot of people yeah. are just like, oh, no, nah, they, I ain't have input this one time. No, nah, f them, and then they go do their own thing, which is cool. If that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Um, I think what we would, it would have been. It's always a bigger type of and I think it's just different nowadays because a lot of people want to do things on their own so just imagine there's so many individuals imagine a group of seven eight rappers of you know I don't yeah. want to say like Wu-Tang or something like you know what I mean just something like you know a collective yeah. type of thing like that but it's just like it would make people look more I'm not saying it would be more successful but it, it would make people look at it more like dang look at these group of people moving in this militant organized way you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, it, it definitely can make it a little bit easier if everybody knows their role and they play their part. That's another thing, too. Everybody want that, that role. But I was looking at it like, look, we, in this, we about to just do this together. There ain't no you on top of me. I'm on top of you. No, we equal. But everybody wants to on that same page, so. And like you said, whatever I lack at, or if I'm not feeling the vibes or something, he pick up the slack, or right. vice yeah. versa. You know what I mean? So, and whatever he has a problem with, we don't take it personal at all, because like, we have a a uh, relationship. Like I consider him family. Like yeah. honestly, we are family. Like right. our kids are related and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. even if it's something a problem business wise or with music, I already know. Like, all right, are you gonna be mad? I'm gonna be mad. Whatever it is. All right, I'll talk to you later. Even if it ain't for a day or two, I know I can call him and be like, yo, look, all right, my kid needs this, and you know, I don't know how I'm going to do this, and my finances is this. I know he's going to be there, or vice versa. Oh, look, I, my kid's got to go here. I just need this. So you already know. The you know relationship I mean? so, we got is Like, our relationship than rap. Is, is deeper than, it's way than, deeper than the music. Than rap. Like, you know the rap could go already away mm-hmm. today, and we still like this. Right. Yeah. A lot of people that we were doing business with in the music is like, kind of was more so friendships and, and so like association type of thing like especially with me i mean he's he's the more friendly me, the I'm, 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 like, <laughs> like, I'm like the he, i'm the link to he, like he, everybody he's the yeah he's like the everybody middle, the middle like person you said i'm the little brother and everybody older than me so right. when if i call out and be like i'm about to shoot a video you'll see like these 20 people there but if it's like him, me, like, it'll I'm, be like, like three I'm, people I'm, there. Yeah, because I'm, I'm 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 more particular with it, like right. because right, I have right, my right. I know my my relationship with people. Like I can't right. sway it out. If I don't, if I'm not feeling the vibes, then I don't want to do it. Like if I don't feel like this person that's gonna be around me is gonna add to this project, this video, this studio session, me personally, I just won't do it. Or I'll go to the studio by myself. Well, if y'all could put yourselves in a lane of um, which lane would you choose to be in? Or which lane would you like to be in? Are you kind of like asking like, so what, like what artists kind of? Like R&B? Like yeah, so would you want to be like, R&B uh, or trap um, or conscious rap? Like, uh, I would just say that I'm an artist. I mean, usually when conversations start, yeah, it start as, oh, we're rappers. But uh, I always just like to say I'm an artist just because I don't, just stick to whatever's popping at the time. Like, all right, yeah, the trap, the bass, oh, in the video, with guns. Like, I don't, me personally, I don't just follow the mold of whatever's happening at the time. Um, so I always just say I'm an artist just because, yeah, I can do the trap stuff, but I also got the R&B stuff. I can work That's with these R&B to singers. And, you know, I just feel like my creative process is just different than just only saying he's a rapper. You know what I mean? So even in bios and stuff, recording artists, like, I don't know. Uh, I just don't like that rapper term because I just feel like you're just limiting me to right. that trap kind of. <laughs> we, you know what I mean? We both been through shit that most of these trap, if not all these yeah. trap rappers have been through. You know what I mean? But me, I'm just like I'm a recording artist. I can go in different lanes to however I feel. I say artists too, okay? Because we don't just stay on one topic. 
a lot of people they just really only do like rap music and trap music. Yeah. For us to do like all genres of music, that's why it seems to be hard. But we've also experienced more than a lot of a lot of people yeah. too. So yeah. like even like with me, like I've lived in multiple states yeah. and you know different colleges and did this, but I've also yeah. been in those hoods and lived in the projects so and seen all that. that. You know what I mean? So I can go those different lanes you know he has that like you know he has family in different states and he's traveled in all of these different whether it was for a vacation or not like he's been there before you know what i mean so it's kind of like his mind knows where to go given whatever beat that we choose a lot of rappers are just like shit though the trap shit the bass is pumping like no for each of you what song of your own like stacks for you that like being an artist is what you're like truly going to do, or like this is like a, a place you should be. More so, like what song defines me, in a sense? Def- is that what you mean? So it's like, cause all right, so artists can make a bunch of different songs, right? Mm-hmm. But don't truly mm-hmm. believe that they are artists and that like they can be doing this as their career for a living or something that they like love to do. What song for you? Because really you could have made a hundred songs before. So the one that made it like, oh, I can really do this full yeah. time. Do you, do you want to go first? I don't know. That, that I, that, that I believe in myself too. Like, mm-hmm. The one you was like, oh, I can really do this. Or well, like feed off like from the fans base. Like the fans. Uh, the one, no, the one that that's really like, was you, like, I know how many I, fans I can do this full time. Oh. Um, well, come back. Because I would have to really think. Like. Um, I got a lot of songs. I I probably say I had a song that's called Epiphany. Uh, iTunes, all that stuff is on there now. Title, Spotify. Um, that one was more like a. Let me rephrase. Any of my R and B ones, and then that Epiphany song. Only because usually when I do R and B, it's kind of like people are never expecting that from. A Baltimore artist rapper. They're not. They're not necessarily expecting. They kind of just only like thinking about. Oh, he's gonna rap about guns, drugs, and this. So anytime I do something R and B wise, rapping about love, relationship, getting cheated on, did this. Even though people experience it all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually, anytime I make an R and B song, it's more like, all right, I know I'm going in the right direction. I know I can do it. Um, as far as like outside of the R and B, this song called Epiphany is more like me just talking about kind of just like. Just being black in America, more specifically Baltimore, me adding skits on there. Like I had like Malcolm X talking on there, Martin. Like it's just like once I made that and then I released that to the world, it was like people was like, oh shit, like his mind can really go outside of just that. You know what I mean? But anytime really I make the RB songs or something like a conscious song, like uh like the song Epiphany Black, you know, being proud of being who you are usually gets makes me feel like all right I can keep on going this way for a career. I would say it's the song I got a it's a feature from him. No feature from me. I got a song with a wrong boy named Boo. What's the name of the song? <laughs> um, I don't know. Cause you got a couple and there's a lot of them. A few of them is just he just named the oh, song one just, song two no, no, only no. because the title. Be cool. like, well, basically the song is like really telling my life and like stuff that I went Loyalty. through. That's what's called loyalty. The song I got yeah. called loyalty with Boo. He on the hook too. Right. It just right. really like really tell like what I went through and like the pain and the struggle and like day to day like so. Got him in his box. Like that. That was like the first one with like it. Made him like think you can about feel it, like, right. and not only that, like other people feel it too. But I feel it myself. 